Hi everyone, just a quick video to share a little something about energy or my thoughts about um, about energy and about states of consciousness. Um, now, uh, there's a lot happening around us right now. We are all in a situation where there are things happening around us. We don't really um, know what to do or how to respond or react. Um, and what I wanted to share is that what really, really matters is what state of consciousness you're responding with or through. Um, let's say there's something that happens um, that triggers you in a certain way and you feel anger or you feel anxious or you feel just afraid. You just, you know, it instills some kind of fear within you. How you respond to it is related to the state of consciousness you choose to respond from. And we all have the ability to choose that. We have that choice. That choice is ours. It's just a matter of telling yourself, okay, this is the state of consciousness I want to respond or I choose to respond to this situation from. So next time you're faced with something or even it, it, it's not only a situation. If somebody says something to you, disagrees with you or, you know, get into an argument, you might feel angry. Let's say you feel angry. Take a moment. Pause is really, really powerful. Take a pause. Think. If you were about to react because you were angry and you were about to say something, take, take a moment, pause. And ask yourself if that is the level or the state of consciousness that is really, really you. That is really, really true to your nature. Is it coming from your heart? And oftentimes you'll realize that it's not. It's from another state of consciousness that mirrors the state of consciousness of the person in front of you. So take a moment. And that does not mean don't feel those emotions. That's a very, very important point. Please allow yourself, give yourself some space to feel these emotions. If you're feeling angry, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling anxious, let those feelings emerge. Feel what you're feeling, truly, freely. Take, a, take some time. Take some time to feel those those emotions uh, and that's really important because <laughs> there's a lot of conditioning and there's a lot of pro programming that starts when we're kids um, that tell us oh no 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 you're not feeling this way oh no 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 you're not supposed to feel that way that's a sign of um, um, that's a sign of I am blank right now but um, that's the opposite of strength. You're not strong if you're feeling that way. Um, that's a programming that we've been put through since our childhood. Now, it will take some time to reprogram our brain, reprogram our whole body, uh, and get into that state of consciousness where we will allow ourselves to feel those emotions, acknowledge them, know that they're there, and then after taking that pause, you choose to get into a state of consciousness that is real, that is true to your heart because you connect with your heart and then respond. And oftentimes you'll see that the response will be love because our true nature, our true nature beneath all the conditioning, all the programming is true love and compassion. So I really, really encourage all of you to do that. Next time you're triggered, next time you, you know, face a situation where you just have these emotions surfacing, allow yourself to feel those emotions. It's good. Feel happy those emotions are coming up. And then choose to come back to the state of consciousness that is true to you. And then go ahead with whatever, whatever feels right to your heart. I hope that this makes some sense. Also, I want to say that a lot of times when we suppress our emotions, it leads to long-term problems in our body and in our mental body as well. Physical, emotional, and mental body. Just 
just one example is thyroid issues. Thyroid issues oftentimes have um, result from suppressed emotions. When a lot of emotions are suppressed, when we're holding ourselves back from expressing what we really feel, it results in thyroid issues. The liver holds on to a lot of anger, for example. The liver holds on to anger and that leads to liver issues. So really, if, let yourself feel that anger. Talk to your divine, talk to yourself if you need to. You are the divine. <laughs> okay, you are divine. The divine is within you. It's just a matter of connecting. Talk it out. Express freely. And that will also help you prevent a lot of long-term diseases and discomforts in the body. Hope that this makes sense. Sending everyone a lot of love from snowy Toronto. Love you all. Take care. Bye.